It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Friday, July 3rd, 2020. As many in America pause to observe the nation's 244th birthday, the What You Need to Know news crew wants to celebrate the words of some of our African-American heroes and sheroes. Here are just a few of the best speeches given by some of our best orators. Number one. On July 5th, 1852, Frederick Douglass delivered this powerful speech to the Rochester Ladies Anti-Slavery Society in Rochester, New York. The abolitionist Douglass delivered an unapologetic message exposing the injustice and cruelty of slavery and asked, what to the American slave is the 4th of July? Number two. On August 28, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made his iconic speech during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. With vivid descriptions of the injustices felt by black people, Dr. King called for the end to segregation, discrimination, and the oppression of African Americans 100 years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Number three. On July 10, 1971, Civil rights activist Fannie Lou Hamer brought it with her stirring nobody's free until everybody's free speech. Hamer was in the public eye and her role as a leader in the civil rights movement was secured. Number four, Congresswoman Barbara Jordan was the first African-American and the first woman to deliver the keynote address at a national political convention. On July 12, 1976, the gentle lady of Texas took center stage and spoke to the world about delivering the promises of America. Ms. Jordan called the members of the Democratic Party to task to represent and advocate for all Americans and hold the country accountable for its promises to its diverse citizens. Number five, President Barack Obama observed the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington at the Let Freedom Ring celebration. It was August 28, 2013. The president stood at the Lincoln Memorial, stressing that we vindicate the faith of those who sacrifice so much and know that the promise of America will only be kept if we work together. We stand at a point in our country where history is being made everywhere we look. Let us use the words of our forefathers and foremothers to secure the promise of this country for which they fought and gave their lives. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.